What's going on guys? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing another video here to YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, we'll do something a little bit different here today. There's been a lot of hype all around the financial world and really everything with uh, cryptocurrencies, starting with Bitcoin. Um, I know there's been a lot of hype out there. Everybody and their mother wants to get involved. Everybody wants to get rich quick off of it. This, that, and the other. Um, I'm not going into... The mechanics of cryptocurrencies i'm not going into the um ideology behind it what the technology is behind it or any of that uh, i'm not a very it oriented type of person so that's not really what the purpose of this is what i'm doing is in this video i'm just going to apply some basic principles of trading the foreign currency markets which is really just any kind of technical analysis and apply them to the cryptocurrencies as you guys can see here, I'm on Trading View, and I made a watch list here of the cryptocurrencies. These are just some of the ones that I have that are tradable on the broker that I'm using. Um, opened up a small account just to test this out. As you guys know, I'm a foreign currency trader, and you know I just figured nothing to lose giving this market a shot. If this really is a potentially futuristic type of market, then um, it's a good environment to start to trade. And it trades just like foreign currencies. Um, they're cryptocurrencies. They're electronically, you know, done just like fiat currencies, just like the typical currencies we have now. They're exchanged electronically. Uh, they're not backed by gold or anything real. They're pretty much the same premise. They're they're not backed by anything. The only difference is the fiat currencies, real currencies, have uh, government support and regulation, and you know that they're they're a lot more accessible, a lot more. Goods can be purchased with them and so on. But again, I'm sticking to trading with this video. All I'm going to do is show you guys some charting opportunities and just how I'm going to be approaching this. Now, these exchanges are all relatively new. So if I take it to a daily chart on really any of them, uh, Bitcoin goes back decently far, but you can see the price action only recently became something of worth. Then you can go down to all these other currencies and you can see the chart ends relatively quickly. They're all pretty new currencies um, so there's not much historical data so when it comes to building a strategy to trade these cryptocurrencies there's really not too much historical data to use to test out anything um, they're pretty much a, a very new asset class and essentially what traders like myself do is it doesn't matter what the market is that I'm trading I don't need to believe what's behind it. I don't need to believe the technology of cryptocurrencies or how long term it's going to last or how whatever you want to call it. What I do is I speculate, I trade on the valuation, the fluctuation in the value and the price of these assets. So I don't care what's going on in the news. In Forex, I follow the news very closely because I think it, it has a lot to do with it. But cryptocurrencies seem to me very vol volatile to me and the news events that Though they do cause it, I'm not going to be following the news events. I'm pretty much simply just going to be applying technical analysis trading to these charts to see how it works out. Now, I don't know how it's going to work out yet. I'm simply making this video. Um, I started trading them a little bit ago, but I'm making this video to share how I'm going to be approaching the markets. Um, one of the strategies I'll be using to test on these, and like I said, this is a very new asset class, so I'm not going to have historical data to go and back test this strategy on. Um, there's really not much to compare anything to. So also the other thing that makes me a little weary about trading this is it's a different group of traders trading this as opposed to other financial assets. Now the human psychology is transparent and, and, you know, consistent across all asset classes. That's why pretty much all technical analysis works the same. It's all based off the human mind and human emotions. So you can honestly say that this is going to react the same however there's a lot of different people buying into the cryptos than other asset classes so it might be a little bit different reacting that's why you see a lot of these jumps and crashes there's a lot of fear and greed going on because it's a lot of um new investors it's a lot of new people to the game and there's a lot of roller coaster action with with asset classes like this and that's what we're seeing so i'm gonna be very weary trading it i've got a lot to learn as well with position sizing and position management as you can see there's totally different values from Bitcoin being worth 14, 15,000 to uh, ones being worth fractions of pennies. So 
really we we I have a lot to learn with this stuff as far as position sizing and everything but I'm messing with it all as I go on my broker um, figuring it all out but essentially I'm just trying to show you guys some basic strategies you can apply to these markets uh, in order to attempt to trade them and uh, test it I'm gonna be demo trading it and, and live trading it small volume over the next few months to get a feel for how the markets are going to be, and if this becomes a future market, I'll be I'll be trading it. I'll uh, you know incorporate into my trading course the correct strategies to use on it. For now, I might incorporate some educational stuff into the trading course on on the charts, and I'll definitely incorporate some watch list stuff in my trading course for watching certain cryptocurrencies. However, uh, until I know my strategies and tactics are profitable in these markets, I'm not going to be including any courses or anything. Uh, that needs to be proven first. So this is the first video of the cryptos of me checking them out, seeing how they work, uh, and really just testing some basic price action trend following systems and seeing how it goes. So essentially, I'm a trend trader. And what I do is I look for strong trending markets and I look for opportunities to join the trend, whether it be a breakout or a pullback. I look for opportunities to join the trend. And anyone who's been a student of mine understands that that's how I trade. And as far as these cryptocurrencies go, since it's a very new asset class, you can see all these charts, for the most part, are going bottom left to top right. That's telling us they're all in uptrends. It's a new asset class. It's a, you know, a newly traded phenomenon, really. So it's it's pretty much all moving from bottom left to top right, which is telling us that it is all in uptrends, for the most part. Now this I could see right off the bat. We got a little bit of a pattern going on here. A little bit of a pennant. This is a nice wedging pattern that price can break out of. Um, however, they, what we're noticing is there's a lot of uptrends going on. See, there's some reversing this broke structure, set a new lower low, set a new lower high. This could be reversing, but we'll see. Um, all in all, what I'm going to be doing is just applying trend following tactics to these. And since a majority of them are in fact upward trending since they're newer assets, um, I am going to be looking mainly just to buy in the direction of the trend. You can see these moves, these really parabolic moves that these pairs are making. And I don't want to be in this market looking to short tops currently. Um, if I see it start bubbling a little bit more, like Bitcoin, I would have been shorting it for sure when I saw it hitting this 20,000 range if I had an account with access to it. Um, however, I'm typically not going to be shorting these i'm going to be looking for long opportunities as i think that there's still plenty of money to come into the markets it hasn't bubbled out i don't think it's too hard to access as of right now the everyday person can't just go buy um these these assets they're they're kind of as i'm sure a lot of you know hard to find trustworthy brokers and the e-wallets and the coinbase and krakens and all it's just a lot going on the everyday average joe blue collar worker isn't going home from work and hopping on their computer to buy these. You know, the, yes, there are some people doing it, but the average everyday person isn't. So there's still a lot of money out there that can join into these markets. So for now, I'm gonna be looking for bullish trends. Now, what I'm gonna be doing, I just briefly picked a trade here, um, picked a chart here that looked like it was something I could set up with. So we saw this, this asset opened up in a trading range all through November, December, we are ranging. And then we had this massive spike lower off this breakout massive spike lower and then it shot up from there so at this point in time we are in an uptrend right really all through here we're in an uptrend so I'm looking for longs right so let me just bring out this little set of rules I've got here so this is what I'll be testing at first to basic very basic very basic to um, see how cryptocurrencies play out so first I'm gonna identify a trend here it's an uptrend, very clear. I have exact methods of doing it in my trading course, corefxtrading.com. Um, but first I'm identifying a trend. Then I'm identifying a level. That's another thing, part of my course, you'll learn how to do that. But as you can see here, I've identified a level. We don't have much historical data to go off of. So when we have a high swing high set and then retested, this is a level, right? We saw a strong push away from the zone. It was a new record high price sold off so this is now a level it's not a major level but it's a level I go over major levels and other um, things in my lessons however this is a level now we take it to the hourly and we see even more so 
we had a rejection wick, strong sell-off, and price ranged below this level before breaking out. So we want to identify a level. I mean, we want to identify a trend, first of all. Then we want to identify a level. Then once we have a level identified, most likely going to be resistance because we're trading uptrends pretty much for the most part now, um, we're going to look for a breakout. And as you can see right here, price broke out of this level. Strong bullish break higher, break and close above, very strong break, right? Now what we want to see is because we don't want to be buying up here, that's retail prices. We want to buy at wholesale prices. We want to buy at a discount in the trend. So what do we do? Wait for price to retest the broken zone and fail to pass below it like we have right here. Then for additional confirmation that price is going to now continue with the trend, we want a candlestick reversal pattern. I go over all this stuff in more detail in my course, but as you can see where this circle is, we've got a bullish engulfing pattern, right? So we've got price breaking out of this zone, comes back to retest it, throws a reject, a four hour, I mean an hourly reversal candle off of this strong zone and price pushes upward. So now what we could have done is we could have either entered our position on the close of this hourly bullish engulfing. I would set my stop below the lows of these, uh, of this bottom that price failed to break in the zone. And then we want to get ideally a two to one risk to reward. As you can see, we did get that relatively quickly. This first push up it did. Um, and then it ended up coming spiking lower before continuing higher. But as you can see here, this trade would have worked out. Now, I'm not going to go through a million charts and try to find as many trades as I can that worked out. Uh, I'll do that on my own time. I'm not going to do that in this video. However, this is a basic strategy I'm going to implement as I go, but I'm going to throw this strategy into the crypto markets and see how it works. And, you know, if anyone else wants to try it to go ahead and give it a shot. This is no recommendations for you to buy or sell anything in particular. Um, you know, past results are not indicative of future results. So this by no means is telling you that this strategy is going to work. There's very little past data to even work on. I'm just sharing with you guys a uh, trend following basics type of system you can lay out to try to attempt to catch some trades in these markets. The cryptocurrencies are very new, very fast moving, and really ultimately pretty damn risky as well. So I really recommend you guys are careful and uh, use caution. But as you can see, I mean, all the standard technical analysis apply when you've got these strong zones acting as support, support, Strong break, retests, fails to break higher. Now it's resistance, price shoots lower. Um, really, it's as you can see here, it was resistance, support, 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 broke, resistance, 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 stuck below this strong level. See, I had this marked off because this is a nice, um, it's typically a bullish continuation pattern, an ascending triangle within an uptrend underneath the resistance. It's typically a bullish um, continuation pattern. But I mean, as you can see, this isn't really an uptrend. It's kind of a really ugly chart, but this is a pretty critical level. It's below here. If we see a breakout of this zone, could potentially move to, uh, you know, this 20 cents area. Could see a pretty strong move. I'm just going through and throwing some technical analysis on these charts. As you guys saw, I charted this out on the daily. You can see we have a decent um, pennant symmetrical triangle pattern going on here. and. This is, the, I thought that was something on my screen, but this is the start of the 200 moving average. So that shows how little data there is to work with. Um, but all in all, I'm going to be going through these charts and applying that simple price action strategy. I'll have different, you know, I'll have ways of defining a trend, ways of defining a, a resistance zone. I'll have set candlestick patterns I'll be following. This is all stuff that I do teach in my course. But um, all in all, I will be using a basic little trend following type of strategy like this. I'm going to look for some trades across these pairs, very light volume, and really just see what I can find here. I can already see was a nice breakout retest. I don't know if it gave the right pattern on the lower time frames, but if you see on the four hour, we broke out, came back, rejection wicks, price came up, failed again, and shot higher off that. Let's see what the hourly tells us. Yes, yeah, so the hourly, we have pretty much a similar story. We got price. From here on, making higher highs and higher lows. Got a nice uptrend. Then here we had some uh, consolidation before big explosion higher. And then this crazy wick down here probably would have stopped out anybody trading longs. 
and then it shoots back up again, double tops, falls back down again, and then here we have the real bounce where no crazy wicks, no crazy uh, fake outs or anything like that, comes back down into this demand zone that we created off this move up, pushes into it, and then we shoot higher. And then again here, this one could have been tradable. We have this zone, price broke out of it, fell back to retest it, another bullish engulfing off the zone, and price ran away. So now with these, you can enter off the bullish engulfing, stop below, two to one at least. Um, you can have that be your entry, or sometimes what price will do, that I like to do, is once it makes that breakout, and if there's a bullish engulfing or like a big hammer candle like this wick here, what I'll do is I'll set a buy limit order at the halfway point of the bearish engulfing, I mean of the bullish engulfing or of the, like we got here with this uh, hammer candle. Let's say I put the limit here. A lot of times these candles will form, price will retrace at least 50% of it before continuing higher. So if I had that stop limit there, what this does is Let's say I entered on the close of this hammer candle and I put the stop below the candle. Now that's a pretty wide stop loss and to get a two to one, you know, we'd have to be going pretty high up. This would have hit it, but it's still a pretty big range, right? So what we could do is if we put that limit order in, now our entry is down here, thus meaning our stop is half as big. And now that same target would have been a 3.2 to one win. Our two to two, our two to one win. We could have, we could have even had a two and a half to one win on the prior swing high off of this retracement, and our entry could have been on a much better entry down here on the fifty percent retracement of this candlestick pattern. So you can do that across the board on these. Um, with this example, we saw this break here. We saw this bullish engulfing, and as you can see, if we zoom it in here. This as well, if we put an entry right in the middle of the candle, those limits would have been hit. Now our stop would have been smaller because we would have entered here instead of the top of that bullish engulfing. You could either adjust it by having a little bit of a wider stop or you can keep your stops the same and just have a better risk to reward. Again, that took us up to a two and a half risk to reward instead of a two and just gets us a much better entry point. Yes, some of them will, um, you'll get the reversal pattern or get the setup and price will never pull back into here. Price will just take off running. Yes, that will happen sometimes and you will miss an opportunity, but that is all just mental conditioning as well as waiting for the right setup. If you don't get the right risk to reward, you don't enter. It's simple as that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, aren't getting a little bit too confused with everything I'm running through here. Um, another thing we saw, another pattern here we could have traded a breakout on. Um, there's really just all kinds of bullish price action going on across these pairs and a number of strategies you can imply to really attempting to take advantage of these. As you can see, this, this pair right here is currently broken out of this strong zone and pulled back to retest it now. So we're in an uptrend, broke a zone, come back to retest. What you could do is now wait for um, an engulfing pattern here. Let's say we get a hammer candle here then we can enter into a trade to try to catch a long off of this zone right so now um, with this strategy like with any other what you could also do is you could apply additional factors to it you can get um, let me see here you can get a Fibonacci drawn on it and look for it to bounce off a level. So this is also the 23.6, a very aggressive, um, fast-moving trend will pull back lightly like that. You can, you know, if you want to apply trend lines, you can apply a trend line. And, you know, this is an ugly example, but you can try to apply a trend line and have your strategy so that it has to bounce off a trend line. Um, you can have basing patterns. You can have uh, really a number of things. Like a lot of these, like here we go, here, what this looks to me is a nice counter trend line. So if we hop on the four hour, you can see we broke this area, came back into it. We're kind of threatening to leave it now, but if we do see a 
bounce in price here and a break of this counter trend line we could wait for a little bit of a retest and then boom go long and ride it back up to this high right so there's a lot of different ways you can approach this um, and really standard typical price action I think is going to be just as useful in um, cryptos as it is Forex and everything else so I'm just gonna show you guys I'll update some more videos on how this system is doing and I'll give you guys a little bit of an idea of how uh, this technical analysis applies to the crypto markets just wanted to make an introductory video letting you guys know I'm starting to test some things out with it so I'll have some feedback for sure for my followers on how the system really works and how this market trades I might end up finding out that it's totally different than the other markets none of these trend following systems really work and um, there's no point in trading it or you know they, they could just be the new fad and they could disappear quickly or uh, you know it could be that the spreads just aren't right right now so far it looks okay but I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my journey I'm still keeping majority of my focus on Forex this is just getting back seated for something else to watch uh, course is gonna be live and launched very soon here so if you're interested definitely reach out to me I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video I hope you guys like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing here and I uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.